Hello YouTube. In this video, we are going to performance test three processors, Intel, AMD, and Apple. I have three laptops, each with a different processor. The first laptop is 2020 Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch with Apple M1 chip and 8 GB RAM. The second one is 2018 Apple MacBook Pro 15 inch 6 core Intel i7 2.2 GHz with 16 GB RAM. The third one is 2020 Lenovo IdeaPad 15 inch 8 core AMD Ryzen 7 4700U with 8 GB RAM. The major difference here is that the Apple M1 architecture it is ARM based the chip architecture that is mostly used in phone tablet and small gadgets compared to the other two laptop that I have those are x86 based x86 is proven technology for laptop desktop and servers with that let's get started so first of all why I'm not using benchmarking tools available in the market Benchmark tools simply proves which processor has good single core, multi core uh, rendering, disk, IO performance. However, as a developer, I want to test it. I want to see how my scripts and utilities behave and um, what I will be expecting from Apple M1. In this video, I'll be writing small code, test it out on different laptops that I have. Check is AppleSiliconReady.com. All major apps, programming language, tools, etc. working on Apple Silicon are already listed here. As per the information, Golang is not supported yet. Um, it works, but using Rosera 2 translation. Docker desktop does not work. Docker Silicon works. Um, Homebrew works under Rosera 2 right, with some hacks. Python, Swift, Bash already works on Apple Silicon without Rosetta translation. I'm going to use Python and Bash for today's video. Python is um, compiled for Apple Silicon and it works natively on Big Sur. As you can see in this image, the activity monitor shows Apple as an architecture when Python process runs. It will show unsupported or Intel when the application is not optimized for Apple Silicon or is available to Rosetta 2 translation. What we'll be testing? I'll be creating small web server using Python 3.8 and it will generate some load. I won't use any external library like Flask or Django. Uh, I'll try to keep things simple. I've set up all three laptops with Python 3.8. Um, that's the first test. The second test is about UUID generation script. This is purely written in bash. So in the first test, let's go back and start that. I'll be using Python as mentioned earlier to generate HTTP traffic. I'm using some load testing tools like Locust, DB or work, whatever you like, uh, uh, you can use that. But uh, I wanted to use a tool that runs natively in Apple environment without Rosetta 2. Locust runs on Python and AB is already available on macOS. So it's better to use those. This is my simple web server. I copied the code from Python website. This web server is using HTTP.server and socket server library and is listening on TCB port 8000. I copied the code to all three laptops that I have. So in this test, I made 10,000 requests with five column kind of requests at a time. As you can see, the short test is uh, much faster on Apple M1 compared to Intel and AMD processor. Apple M1 finished processing 10,000 requests in 1.591 second. So what if I increase the traffic? I'll generate 100k requests this time. Apple M1 couldn't hold it. It processed first 10,000 requests and then it failed with timeout errors. Look at the other two laptops with Intel and AMD processor. They both completed all requests with zero failures in it. So it looks like I need to optimize Python web server code so it can handle more, requ more requests without failing it on Apple Silicon. Right? This is not a processor problem, this is a code problem, software problem. 
and it also means that if I use tools and script written in other languages which is also native maybe the result will be different so why don't we do that let's try with bash in the second test I'm running a simple bash script that generates 100k UUIDs I'm using UID gen which directly runs on machines and utilizes the system kernel I'm not using a programming language specific utilities to generate uh, UUIDs this time Apple M1 did great job as you can see Apple M1 has eight cores and it processed all the requests in 3.24 seconds while maintaining the CPU at just 40 percent AMD Ryzen 7 4700U processed it in 2.22 seconds because it has 8 core and 16 threads to process this request. Ultimately, AMD Ryzen took 107% CPU time that was highest among these three processors. Intel i7 took 9.31 seconds. Um, the system fan was constantly on for the Intel i7 based Apple MacBook Pro. But this time, Apple M1 wins. So the summary here is Apple Silicon is definitely a lot faster than any other processor. However, programming language native support and app optimization will be needed to see the real power of Apple Silicon. VS Code, Go, Python, Docker runs on Apple Silicon. When I said the only problem is that Go and Docker CLI runs using Rosetta 2 translation. Eclipse, IntelliJ, Homebrew, etc. are not at their best yet for Apple Silicon. And uh, when I use Bash, Apple M1 outperform other processor that I have because Bash is already optimized for Apple Silicon. However, I use Python, Go, Java for my daily job. I use Golang uh, as Rosetta under Rosetta 2 and Rosetta 2 takes care of translating uh, CPU instructions however it is not the native way there is no doubt that Apple Silicon outperforms all the other processors in speed however it will take some time for Apple pro uh, all the programming language and tools to be Apple Silicon ready with Rosetta 2 that's it thank you very much for your time watching this video I hope you like the details in this video if anything is misleading, please let me know in the comment section and I will see you next time.